how to find the best dropshipping suppliers for your e-commerce business. Now, do not mind my voice in this video because I'm running a little bit of a cold. No, it's not COVID. I've already been through that. But that will not stop me from sharing with you how to find the best dropshipping suppliers for your dropshipping business with the best shipping times and the best products for your target audience. We'll be going over all of that and more in this video. So stay tuned, quick intro, and let's go. Welcome back, I'm Liran from AutoDS, the content manager, and in this video, you're gonna learn about how to find the best dropshipping suppliers for your e-commerce business. Now, once again, I am running a little bit of a cold during this recording, so I will try to keep it brief, but of course, I will not leave out any juicy info that you need to know. So let's get started. One sec before that, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the world of dropshipping. That being said, like and share this video if you appreciate the value. So let's jump right into it. How do we find the best dropshipping suppliers for our e-commerce business? Of course, for those of you who are not aware yet, dropshipping is simply a business model where you can fulfill orders, you can have your own online store and sell anything that you want without actually holding them in stock. As soon as you get an order, you fulfill them by simply going to your supplier's website and purchasing the product and shipping it directly to your end customer. But with all of this, of course, we need high quality dropshipping suppliers where we can actually list their products and sell them on our online store. And we're also going to need a selling channel like eBay, Shopify, Wix, Facebook Marketplace, and there's many others where you can actually host your online business. But the most important thing here, which is why you are watching this video, is how can we actually find the best suppliers? And why is it important to have a good high quality dropshipping supplier? Well, for one, you're gonna wanna have a large product base. You don't only wanna put all of your eggs in one basket and leave all of your work to one dropshipping supplier. If that drop shipping supplier ever lets you down, then you won't have anyone else to work with and now your business will be in trouble. So we do not want to have a single point of failure, which is what we will have when we're only working with one supplier. So it's always a good idea to diversify and work with anywhere around three dropshipping suppliers at the same time. And that way, if one ever causes any problems like Chinese holidays and now they won't be here for two weeks, so then you're going to go to your US suppliers or maybe just any other shipping delivery info. Maybe they have some bad quality products which let some of your customers down so you wanna move over to someone else. There are many reasons why you'd wanna switch and shift between different dropshipping suppliers until you learn which ones are best for your business. So let's get into it. What are some of the things that make a good dropshipping supplier? Before you begin your search, you wanna look for these features and benefits through your suppliers. So first, we wanna make sure that we have fast shipping times. And this, of course, is very, very important because you wanna be able to deliver your products really quickly to your audiences. Nobody today wants to wait two weeks, three weeks, or anything above that to get their product. As soon as someone places an order, they want to have it as soon as possible. If someone placed an order today, they want to have it delivered by yesterday. And that is the now in demand era that we live in. And there's nothing wrong with that because there are many high quality suppliers where we can actually get fast shipping from them. So to provide the best customer service, to give our customers a very good experience through our stores, to make them remember our stores and remember our brand and come back for repeat purchases, we're going to deliver fast shipping times. And that is what we're gonna get when we're using high quality dropshipping suppliers who can also drop ship from and to the same region that we are targeting. So for example, if you wanna drop ship to the UK audience, then you wanna find UK suppliers that store their products in UK warehouses so you can ship quickly domestically. And that goes also for any other region. So fast shipping times. The second thing you wanna look out for is high quality products. We don't wanna sell low quality products we don't want our customers opening up returns every other item that we ship out. And if we sell low quality products, if we don't even take a look at what we're selling, then we are going to get those returns and we will be dealing with customers who are not very happy with the quality of our products. So another great benefit that we're gonna get from working with high quality suppliers is that we will have high quality products and we'll have a way to check the quality of the products without having to order it or have any physical contact with the product itself. The next thing you wanna look out for in a dropshipping supplier is competitive prices. Now there are a lot of suppliers out there and millions of products and some of those products can be found through some of those dropshipping suppliers, the same exact product at different price ranges. So that is why you always wanna go with the supplier who has the most competitive price point for that product. And that is another thing that we need to look out for 
when choosing our dropshipping supplier. For example, you can take a look at products on AliExpress and then find them on Amazon at more expensive prices. And the reason for that is because that seller from AliExpress or maybe a different seller bought stock from that seller from AliExpress or Alibaba or anywhere else and they shipped it to Amazon's warehouses. So that seller on Amazon now needs to make a profit on top of what he bought it from on AliExpress or Alibaba or anywhere else, meaning the price on Amazon is now going to be higher than where he bought it from. And you can use both of these suppliers as examples for those that you can work with in your dropshipping business. So in this case, you can ship the more expensive product from Amazon from US warehouses or ship the cheaper version from AliExpress or Alibaba, but it comes from China and it will take longer. We're going to get into all of that really soon. Don't get confused yet. I'm just drawing in quick examples. Next is product reviews. And this goes with high quality products because these suppliers that we're going to be looking out for, they have product reviews for their products on their website. So this gives you an early understanding or some type of insight on the quality of this product and if it's really matching its item description and if people are overall happy with this product that they purchase because you're about to sell it also on your store and you want it to be of high quality, you want it to be a proven product that has been selling, that has a proven track record. So that is what we're gonna get when we have customer reviews on our suppliers' websites. The next thing that we wanna look out for is tracking information. Some suppliers provide tracking information that you simply cannot track anywhere except for their website so if you share it with your customer that same tracking info they won't really be able to do anything with it because they will not be able to track it so you want to work with suppliers that have trackable tracking information like ups usps fedex dhl many types of international tracking that's trackable and more you can track them on websites like 17track.net and others and we're also going to talk about that further down below but of course look for suppliers that have trackable tracking information that they can provide it to you when you process your orders with them another thing that you want to look out for when looking for dropshipping suppliers is that they provide efficient customer service so before choosing to work with a supplier try reaching out to them see if they have an online chat if they have a phone number or if it's only some email or contact us form get in touch with them send them a message see how long it takes to get back to you and see that they provide fast customer support because when a customer reaches out to you with a problem that they may be having or just some question that they want to ask before purchasing and you're going to have to rely on your supplier to get your answer and they take a long time to answer you then your customer is simply not going to wait for your answer and you're going to miss out on that sell and if he has any problems with his order then he's going to take it one step further if you're not answering them on time so you want to have suppliers who provide fast and efficient customer service next you want to look for suppliers that have reliable returns and refund policies and that's pretty much from the same reasons that i just mentioned when a customer reaches out to you and now wants to return a product you're going to have to be able to reply quickly and send them a return label if they are of course eligible for a return so you want to go over what policy your supplier can give you if your supplier for example gives you 30 day free returns you're going to give the same thing to your buyers but if your buyer tries to return an item after 35 days you can still reach out to your supplier and try to ask for it but if you don't get it then you're also not going to give it to your buyer but make sure that you are getting good conditions when it comes to returns and refunds from your dropshipping supplier so that you can offer the same high quality service to your buyers it will not only increase the chance of them purchasing the product from your store because you're offering a great returns and refund policy but they'll also return to purchase from your store because you're giving them the confidence that they need if there's ever a problem they know that they can reach out to you and they won't waste their money the next thing you want to look out for when choosing a dropshipping supplier is that they have practical payment options and this is simply to make your cash flow easier for your business so for example if you're getting payments through paypal you may want to look for a supplier who also supports getting paid through paypal and the same thing goes with payoneer or credit card or any other payment method that you are using now you may not get the same exact payment method that your buyers are using to purchase products from your store but just make sure that your supplier has a payment option that is convenient for your business and lastly we want to look for suppliers that can offer worldwide shipping now this may not be the bread and butter for your drop shipping business you may get most of your sales from your targeted audience for example if you're drop shipping to the us you may not care about what's going on in the rest of the world because you know that most of your sales are coming from the us that is the target that you have experience with and that is the audience that you are targeting however when you open up your store globally so that anyone around the world can see your listings and purchase from it not only are you going to make more sales and profit but you're actually going to learn a lot more about the worldwide market and not just in one specific location so even if not at the start 
start further down the road, you do want to work with suppliers that offer worldwide shipping and not just to a certain location to expand your opportunities and increase your sales and profiting. Now, moving on, let's talk about the difference between retail suppliers and wholesale suppliers because there is a difference between them and it does affect some parts of your dropshipping business. So retail suppliers are those, for example, like Amazon, AliExpress, Walmart, The Home Depot, and more. And these are retail marketplaces or retail stores that sell products to end customers. On the other hand, we have wholesale suppliers, which is usually a B2B business form or business to business, meaning the wholesale dropshipping business will sell the products to an e-commerce business, and then that business sells it to the end customer. So this supplier was a wholesale supplier. And in this case, for example, it's easier to work on eBay because eBay supports dropshipping from wholesale suppliers. Now, does that mean that dropshippers are not using retail suppliers to dropship on eBay? No, they definitely are and they've been doing it for years, but it's much harder to open an eBay store today to open a new one and work with retail suppliers from the start since eBay flags those accounts and doesn't allow them to upgrade their limits anymore from there. Some examples of those wholesale dropshipping suppliers are those like Alibaba, DHgate, Costway, China Brands, and more. Now, some marketplaces are sensitive to you working Working with retail suppliers right from the start like eBay and others have no problem with you doing it like Facebook Marketplace, Shopify, Wix and more. And on the other hand you have those wholesale dropshipping suppliers that can reach in and help you on those straight to marketplaces like eBay when starting a new seller account. You want to work with wholesale suppliers at the start or items that you have laying around from home until you have enough limits that you can work with and then you can move over to retail suppliers. But of course these are different topics for different tutorials that we have on our blog page on our YouTube channel and more. Now let's go over the best methods to finding these best dropshipping suppliers. It's not enough to talk about them, we also need to know where we can find them. So step number one before looking for your dropshipping suppliers is to first think about what product or what niche you want to sell in. If you don't know what you're going to sell, then there's no point in looking for a supplier who can sell these products that you have no idea what they are yet. So first conduct your product research, know what products you wanna sell or what niche you wanna sell in. And we can help you with that, of course, with our blog page, with all of the product finding articles that we have there, our YouTube channel with the sell these now playlist that's always updating all the time, also along with our blog page every month with more and more content on what you should be selling and much more. And you can also take the simple method like going to Amazon's bestsellers page or their movers and shakers see what's trending there and trying to test the market with similar products. But if you want to dive deeper down inside, then once again, head over to our YouTube channel, head over to our blog page, see all of the content that we threw in, in there and that we're continuing to throw in on a weekly basis with the best products that you should be selling and much, much more. Our goal is to help you succeed with your business because our success is mutual and it's always going to be that way. So those are some product research methods. I can't get into it too much into this video because that is not the main point, but once again, once you know what products or what categories or what niche you want to sell, then you can move on to the next step and look for suppliers, look for the best suppliers that have these products that you can actually sell on your stores. Now, here are some of the best ways to find these suppliers. First of all, you can head over to AutoDS's website, head over to resources, and on the top bar, click on suppliers. Here you have over 25 dropshipping suppliers that you can start working with today with tens of millions of products inside these suppliers stores. Now, some of these suppliers are wholesale suppliers. Some of them are retail dropshipping suppliers. But at the end of the day, you can import your products from all of these suppliers in all of these different regions around the world and enjoy also dropshipping automation, meaning you can enjoy price monitoring, stock monitoring. So if the price or the stock status changes on any one of these suppliers' websites and you have their products on your stores, then the stock or the price will also change accordingly on your store. And you'll also enjoy quick product importing, meaning you can import these products, any of the products from any of those suppliers' stores to your dropshipping stores in a matter of seconds. Not just that, you can also get one very for example, from Banggood, you can import a product from Banggood and then add another variation in that listing from CJ Dropshipping and then another one from AliExpress, meaning you're going to have your own unique set of variations in a unique product page that no other seller around the world has. Now, there are much more benefits that come along with it. So this is your quick cheat sheet 
to the best dropshipping suppliers that you can use today and also enjoy dropshipping automation and scale your businesses when you mix it together with AutoDS. So that of course is one way to do it and that is my favorite way to do it. And you can also check out other places like run a quick Google search on the category that you wanna sell or the niche that you wanna sell or the product that you wanna sell when you conducted your product research phase and look for suppliers on Google, enter their websites one by one, contact them and try to negotiate a deal. Now, some of them may not be dropshipping suppliers some of them may want you to buy stock so you will have to reach out to many suppliers until you will find one that will work well for you but that is another method of finding a good dropshipping supplier just keep in mind all the things to look out for when choosing a dropshipping supplier which i went over earlier in this video so another way to find these suppliers besides using the suppliers page on AutoDS's website and besides running a google search you can also go to worldwide brands which looks like this and they simply give you a database of wholesale suppliers now granted you're gonna get so many many suppliers on this list and it is not for free and also some of those suppliers are not really relevant or they're not really good but you will be able to find some good high quality ones in there when you conduct your research and here you can get suppliers from all over the world another way to do it is through Alibaba Alibaba is going to give you the Chinese suppliers or the Chinese manufacturers but they're all wholesale or 99% of them are wholesale and they will be able to give you wholesale support for your dropshipping business now some of them may want you to have an MOQ they'll want you to order a minimum order quantity but on the other hand you will be able to find those suppliers that also support the dropshipping business model meaning only once you get an order will you follow up that order with Alibaba suppliers and they will ship it to your end customer so most of the suppliers coming from Alibaba are wholesale they'll give you private contracts and everything that you need to scale your business from the start especially if you're dropshipping on places like eBay so those are some of the best ways to connect with the best dropshipping suppliers today in the dropshipping industry. Now, like I said, once you find these suppliers, you wanna go over the checklist that I mentioned earlier in this video of all of the important things to look out for in a dropshipping supplier, run a checklist, and make sure that they comply with all of your high standards. And your last step is to simply contact and negotiate with them and strike a deal for your dropshipping business. Now let's jump to the 16 best dropshipping suppliers that I would like to recommend you to work with in your dropshipping stores, starting with the retail dropshipping suppliers, the marketplace dropshipping suppliers. And here we've got the top 10, which is Amazon, AliExpress, Walmart, Home Depot, Wayfair, eBay, Target, Wish, Etsy, and Gearbest. So if you wanna learn about all of them, you can check out all of the information in the blog article, which I'll leave a link to right below this video, which is where I'm going over all of this information. But as you guys know me well, I always like to throw in some extra value inside these videos. So read about them, go over what they have, see if they are fit for your dropshipping business, depending on what selling channel you're using, depending on what audience you want to target, and depending, of course, on what product and niche you are selling. Moving on, to our last six and the last six will be wholesale dropshipping suppliers starting off the list is alibaba china brands costway dhgate plus buyer and printify and if you're using AutoDS, then know that the bottom two are not supported by AutoDS, at least not yet so keep that in mind moving forward and if you want to get a full explanation on these suppliers and which ones you should be using which ones might be good for your business be sure to check them out in the blog article below this video that wraps up this video of how to find the best dropshipping suppliers for your business what to look out for in those suppliers, what the differences between them are, and how to work with them the best way. So I tried to keep it brief, but as usual, I didn't. I hope that you found it informational. Once again, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about the hottest and latest information that's always coming out in the world of dropshipping and stay one step ahead of your competition. Like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Good luck on finding the best dropshipping suppliers to work with for your business.